and up from the world's feet. India will await you back and freedom. Said by Jawaharlal Nehru, we have our full influence to lead the to the time. As our chieftains, we have the essential of the army. Mr. Obey the command of our son, accompanied by our respected principal, Reverend Father Stanley Rodriguez, and our academic co-ordinator, Reverend Mr. Kim. Let's put our hands together and give them a warm welcome.
A very good morning. One and all present here with great joy and filled with the sense of pride. Joy and filled with the sense of, for our nation. This is even. As we have gathered here to celebrate the 77th anniversary of our Independence Day. It is a day of pride, glory and honor. Our nation, when our country got its freedom, its independence from the British Empire, I am profusely elated to take this opportunity to introduce our chief guest of today's program, Mr. Upendra Kumar Srivastava, the SHO of Kirami, whose dedication, hard work and perseverance set an example before each one of us that how can we a better version of ourselves. Give him a big round of applause. On behalf of the Indian family, I cordially welcome you to celebrate this momentous day with us. Sir, you were born in Johnpur, Uttar Pradesh. You have earned your Bachelor degree in Arts. You have started your career as a sub-inspector in Gorakhpur, Uttar Pradesh, the city which is considered to be a gateway to Hinduism and Buddhism. Thereafter, you got promoted to the post of inspector. Now you are carrying your duties as the SHO of Kiravati in order to maintain law and order in your region. Now I would like to call my dear friend Ms. Pavi Solandi to present a sample to a chief player with you for having you spend a new town. We grant a program to the August presence and its us. We wish you all the best for you. आप लोगों को भी स्वतंत्रता दिवस की बहुत सारी बधाई और शुभकामनाएं प्रेयर इज नॉट आस्किंग इट इज अ लॉन्गिंग ऑफ द सोल It is daily admission of one's weakness, freedom in the mind, faith in the words, pride in our souls. Let's salute the nation on this Independence Day. Let's salute those great men who made this possible. Thousand laid down their lives so that our country breathes this day. Never forget their sacrifice. Merciful God, we praise and thank you for the gift of this marvelous day. Thank you, Lord, for giving us this new day and new life. Thank you, Lord, for the gift of Independence Day. Bless our leaders and our freedom fighters. On earth, one me and thankful heart. Said by Isa Walton. Lord, you rule all the people of the earth as well as the nation of the world. Grant them the vision of the truth and justice. Bless our land with honorable industry, sound learning and pure manners. Thank you to every teacher who discovers a child's special ability or talents. Sustain them as they spend themselves for the cause of education. Amen. What in heaven? Hello, be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. On earth, as it is in heaven, give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. That eternal rest, forgive all their sins. For this, let us pray to the Lord. Your response, Lord, hear our prayer. We thank you for the freedom and blessing to worship you. Strengthen us to reap a harvest of graces. We bring before you our principles. Bless him abundantly with good health and strength, so that he may do his ministry according to your will and wish. May he avail his opportunities to enhance people's spirituality. 
shower your blessings upon him so that he may lead this institution and the children in the right path. Be at his side so that he may bring many souls to your kingdom. For this, let us pray to the Lord your response, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, now we place at your presence all our teachers and non-teaching staff. Almighty Father, we bring before you our teachers and their family members. Touch their heart and mind so that they may taste your love. Give them good health, energy, and commitment, sense of purpose in their work. Be at their side, Lord. For this, let us pray to the Lord. Your response, God, hear us. Our loving Father, we bring before you all our special intentions. Now, pray for our students. As we gather here, to praise you for the freedom that we have received. We pray for our students, all those who are studying in our school. Send your Holy Spirit upon us. Open our minds and hearts to receive you in our hearts. Give us wisdom and knowledge. For this, let us pray to the Lord. Your response, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, we thank you for the gift of this new day. Bless each one of us with our blessings. We pray for our parents and give them good health and strength. Fill our parents with the choicest blessings that they may experience your love and care in their life. Let your love abide in them so that our parents may have love in their hearts for each other. Let this love guide them with wisdom and knowledge. For this, let us pray to the Lord. Your response, Lord, hear our prayer. It brings God and it becomes more beautiful when combined with God. So here we have the students ready with her gracious crown group. <laughs>
auspicious occasion, we have organized group singing competition both for the senior and junior category. So let's get started. I feel extremely glad to introduce our honor.
here as we celebrate the most important day in our nation's history, Independence Day. On this auspicious occasion, we come together to reflect upon the sacrifices made by our forefathers and to express our gratitude for the freedom we enjoy today. Today, we are not just celebrating a date on calendar, but the birth of a nation. As we venture into the future, we must remember our past. We must remember the countless brave souls who fought for our freedom, who raised their voices against tyranny and oppression, and who dreamed a nation where every person is valued and every voice is heard. Independence Day is a powerful reminder that freedom is never given, it is earned. Our journey towards independence was filled with hardships, struggles and sacrifices, but they were all worth it. The spirit of patriotism that united us today is a testament to the indomitable spirit of our people. Independence Day is not only a time for celebration, but also a moment of reflection. It is an opportunity for us to reflect on the progress we have made as a nation and the challenges that lie ahead. It is a day to remember that the true strength of a nation lies in the hands of its citizens and that each of us has a role to play in shaping our country's destiny. On this special day, let us not only honor our independence, but also recommit ourselves to the ideals that have defined our nation. Let us strive for unity and harmony, transcending the boundaries for caste, creed, religion and vision. Let us remember that diversity is our strength and that embracing it is crucial for our progress as a nation. Finally, as we revel in our celebrations, let us not forget to express gratitude to our great nation. We are privileged to call this land our home, a land where dreams are realized, opportunities are abundant and hope is alive. Let us pledge to protect and preserve its beauty, culture and heritage for generations to come. On the 77th Independence Day, let us come together as one nation, united in our love for our country. Let us carry the spirit of freedom in our hearts and let us guide us towards a future of prosperity and harmony. Thank you and happy Independence Day one and all. Students are ready with their songs. Again, for the group singing competition,
Good morning everyone. Happy Independence Day. <laughs> See, I do not want to speak anything, any message, even the chief guest was too busy. Uh, he came a little late due to unavoidable reasons. He had to go early. So now I have got a chance or a responsibility to speak. Only few things about our day, uh, about this Independence Day. 15 August is not a day only to celebrate the day when our country got freedom from the bondages of British rule, from the clutches of British rule, we became free. Shiv Khera, uh, one of the greatest writers, says freedom is not free. In Hindi you can say, Azadi Muftanay. It means, Azadi is not the Azadi is not Do everything with the responsibility. A country has only its meaning only when we are responsible citizens. When we being responsible citizens, it is our duty to be a better citizens. You know, we have uh, in the last ten that I have taught in the preamble, it is written in highlighted form in the capital letter. We pledge, we solemnly pledge that our country is a republic, a country is socialist, a country is secular, a country is a republic, and our country is democratic. And these five things we have to always remember. You know, our country is called secular. You know why? There is no other country in the world which is called secular. Secular means this country is for everyone. Everyone. It's not even for any individual as such. It's for everybody. I am a Christian, you are a Muslim, you are a Hindu, you are a Sikh, you are a Buddhist, you are a Jain uh, person who follows Jainism. But we all are one Indians. But why that is right? Why that is right? Why we lack brotherhood? Why there is hatred in our hearts? Look at my eyes, you two have two eyes. We have two hands, we have two legs, we have one heart. We have same blood with one color. My blood is not blue. But the Indian match, when we see, we say they are bleeding blue. But we have to see that our blood is red. Though it may have different blue, but the blood is red. It means we all are one. When we die for this nation, and this mud of this country has to become black with our own blood when we die for our country. There is nothing in time for religion. Time for religion has no meaning. Time for this nation has a meaning because our freedom fighters died for their nation, not died for their religion. Everybody, irrespective of their religious background, they fought for one nation. Isn't it? That is the spirit of our country. Let's, let's make a firm resolve, firm hope that one day when we are growing, grown up citizens, we will fight not in the name of religion, we will fight for to make this country unite. This country, a country of brotherhood. Make this country a country for everyone that one day Rabindranath Tagore has written a beautiful poem, Let Our Country Away. Chidiyaka, jo 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 hamara jo desh hai, sone ke chidiya ke raha chata tha, nahi? Lekin hum sone ke chidiya ka hapne, hap kabhi kabhi maat dhe hai usko, usko bech dhe hai, uske saath nain saath hi karte hai. Lekin hamara kaktav ye hai, ki hum sab ko ek bharati honne ke raha te, एकता से एक जुट होकर भाईचारे के साथ सबको सम्मान करते हुए 
सद्भावना के साथ रहना है यही मेरी आज के दिन आज के आजादी के महोत्सव पर हम ये प्रण लेते हैं कि हम सब भारतीय हैं किसी भी धर्म विशेष के नहीं है सब भारतीय हैं इन शब्दों के साथ मैं मेरा जो भाषण को अल्प विराम देता हूँ थैंक यू